What's up guys, I'm Hubsmash, and I wanted to go over upgrading your Hongmoon weapons and Hongmoon accessories. During the introductory quest line, and as you progress further into the quest, you'll receive your Hongmoon weapon and your Hongmoon accessories. They look like this in your, uh, in your character panel, in your inventory. And essentially what you end up doing is feeding the weapons and the accessories with other weapons and accessories. So for example, you'll feed you know, uh, a ring to your necklace and it will increase the rank of it. So let's, let's just show you how that works. So this is going to feed this in, in there and it will level it up. Now, the more powerful the item you're feeding it to or feeding the accessory, the more you have a chance to raise up. Like if I wanted to, I could use one of these Hongmoon gemstones. And as you can see, it's going to rank up the entire way. There's a min and a max that you kind of roll between as well. So depending on the success of the roll, you'll gain more experience in these ranks. Once you get to the rank, if you've passed rank five, you get to break through. That gets to that opens up stages six through ten, and that's where you'll need to put in an amplifier and ingredients in order to do it. So, for example, for let's see if we're on. This one, yeah, I think we're we're at tra the transform stage on my uh, earrings, and on my ring we're at the awaken stage. We're at stage one on my ring. So let's pretend. So this is for for me to transform, and uh, uh, a breakthrough is very similar to a transform, but the transform or the evolution actually changes the way that it looks. So if I wanted to transform this or evolve this into the Infernal Earring, I would need the Infernal Earrings from the Tomb of Exiles, and I would need to use one of these Cinderlands Transformation Stones. You receive these stones through various means, um, but every time you'll need an ingredient, it'll tell you where to get it from. So this one's acquired from contract with the Soul Wardens. So for your weapon here, in order for me to evolve it into a true Infernal Dagger, Stage 1, I need the Hujikar Dagger from Hogs Hogshead Pastures Tidelord Hujikar. And I also need a Moonwater Transformation Stone. So I'll feed a bunch of weapons into this guy. He'll get to Stage 5. Then I'll break through with whatever the requirements are at Stage 5. I think for this one it was the Lycan Dagger. And uh, maybe a, a, a Cinderlands Transformation Stone. I can't remember exactly. And then you'll feed it in, get it from rank 6 to 10. And then you'll be ready to evolve. And you'll put in another amplifier and another ingredient. So it's fairly straightforward once you get into it. One of the common misconceptions is that, you know, you find these weapons and you find these things and you can't really use them. Uh, I mean, you could use them. But really what they're best used for is feeding your weapons and your accessories to increase their level and eventually break through and evolve those weapons and accessories. I hope this was helpful. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, click that like button. It really helps with the channel. And if you want to see more, consider subscribing. Thanks again, and take care.